Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Thank you very much. Much better than yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. All right, let's begin. Um, as usual, I'm going to share the screen with you. And now I'm going to pass the attendance list. So when you hear your name, please let me know. I'm also going to turn on the fan because it's really hot in here. Give me a second. That feels better. Okay. Thanks for your patience. All right. Um, let's do this. Jose Alejandro Quintanilla Ayala. Jose Alejandro Quintanilla Ayala. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, present. Good evening. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. I believe he said in the group he will not be here. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good Welcome. Evening. Good evening. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia. Hello, here. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Alejandro. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Present. Good evening. I'm sorry. I okay. couldn't play my mic. <laughs> okay. No problem. Attendance taken. Okay. Uh, and Daisy is here, too. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Present. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present, teacher. Welcome. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. José Eraibín Enríquez. Jose Eraibin Enriquez. Good evening, teacher here. Good evening. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Good evening. I'm Good evening. here. Welcome. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Noemí Alicia Estrada Palacios. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Hello, I'm here. Hello. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Hi, I am here. Welcome. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andres. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. No podía. 
It's okay, don't worry. We have a chat entry. Debbie says is here. Okay, Debbie, thank you. Attendance taken. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. Present teacher. Okay, hello. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Welcome. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. All right, let's begin. Everybody welcome, this is Advanced English 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session 15, penultimate session, and uh, today is October the 18th of 2023. So everybody welcome. What are we going to do today? Well, basically, we're going to start the second part of section number four. And the first thing we're going to do is, uh, starting point, is the everyday objects. Okay, read about these unusual uses of ob everyday objects. Have you ever used them in these ways? So you have three clever ideas, okay? All right, so uh, Nadia. Teacher, I'm sorry, um, I am still at the word now mm -hmm. and because I, I, I will just listen to the class Okay. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I thought you wanted to read. <laughs> okay. So you have three clever ideas. Uh, who want? Who wants to read the first one, please? You just need a volunteer. Jenny Elizabeth. Thank you very much. And then uh, Miss Romero. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat for fur on my cloth to get right or the fur, I grab my hand and I tape a sticky side out. Then I rub the tape over my cloth and I and it picks up for the for the fur. It fur. picks up the fur. Yeah. Thank you. Uh Jenny. You have, I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. The fur is the hair, okay? To get rid of the fur, to eliminate the fur, okay? I wrap my hand in tape, like mm -hmm. scotch tape, okay? The sticky side out, okay? So that means that uh, if I do that, this person does that, and then the sticky side is out. Uh, then I wrap the tape over my clothes, and it picks up the fur. Okay, so um, do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Any questions, anyone about the vocabulary? No questions at all? Uh, wrap. Wrap, okay. For example, when you have a present and you want to uh -huh. give the present to a person, you have to wrap it in paper first, wrap. Okay, in this case, this person is talking about wrapping her hand or his hand, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, in tape. Okay, and then he or she uses the tape in his hand or her hand to pick up the fur in the clothes. But there, there is um, more meanings than that? Oh. Wrap. Well, uh -huh. yeah, there is wrap up, okay, when you want to end the session, for example, you say, we're going to wrap up. Okay, in other words, we're going to end it. It's like that's a to... phrasal verb. It's a phrasal right? verb. Okay, that means you're going to give like a very short summary of, of, of whatever the session was about, and then uh, you finish it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in this case, it's not a phrasal verb, but it's just wrap. Okay, envolver, right? That's the meaning of wrap. Okay, okay. thank you. So, uh, Janet Janira, did you have a question? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, I 
I want to know the meaning of sticky. Sticky. Okay. You know, um, what is sticky? Uh, for example, stickers, you know, the stickers, okay. Las calcomanías, right? The stickers, they have a sticky side and then you put it wherever you want to stick it. Okay. That's the meaning of sticky. It's the adjective. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I said, thank you. I should have said, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, um, Miss Romero. Okay, number two, please. Okay, the zipper was stuck on my favorite jacket. Luckily, luckily, my roommate works in fashion, which is great because she knew how to fix it. She just rubbed a drop of olive oil on the zipper. Yeah, the zipper was stuck on my favorite jacket, right? Okay, it was a zipper, wouldn't go up or down. Luckily, my roommate works in fashion, which is great because she knew how to fix it. She just rubbed, okay, a drop of olive oil on the zipper. And apparently that did the trick. I don't know if it works or not, but sounds plausible. Um, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Anyone? Any questions? Stuck, about... stuck, teacher? Stuck. When something is stuck, you cannot move it, okay? Or take um, it out. For example, if you close the door, okay? It's st stuck on, teacher? Stuck on. The zipper was stuck on my favorite jacket. So, you know, when you have a jacket, you have to zip it up. Okay, or you zip it down, but sometimes the zipper gets stuck and you can't do anything. Okay, you can't you know, pull it up, you can pull it down. Okay, so that's the meaning of it stuck. Trabado, right? The zipper was stuck on my favorite jacket. Okay, right. thank you. And now, Janira, <laughs> can you help me read number three? Yes, teacher. <sighs> I put my entire CD collection on my MP3 player. So now I have all these useless discs lying around. I had throwing things away, which, which is why I use them as beverage coasters. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. I put my entire CD collection on my MP3 player. Okay. So now I have all these useless discs lying around. I hate throwing things away, which is why I use them as beverage coasters. Okay. Beverage coasters. You know the coasters? I have one right here. This is a coaster. But this is a cork coaster. I don't know if you can see it. You put the glasses in here. Mm. Okay. So. Where'd you put the drinks? Uh huh. Exactly. That's a coaster. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I don't know. I, I can't imagine using, you know, all CDs as beverage coasters. Oh, I was thinking about the micro bus. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Sometimes they have a lot of, you know, CDs on the walls and sometimes like in the upper part of the windshield. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay. Uh, does anyone have? Uh, thank you, uh, Janira, for reading. Does anyone have uh, questions about the vocabulary here? No questions. Okay then. Three clever ideas. Nowadays, people call call this type of ideas life hacks. For some reason, you have probably seen the videos on on, on YouTube and TikTok and all that. Okay, they call them life hacks now. Say it, I mean. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Why do people used to call the mean of transportation coaster? I have no Is idea. Is that another meaning? I have no idea. No, I don't know. I don't know why th this kind of buses are called coasters. I don't know if it, it has to do with the coast. Maybe. I I really don't know. <laughs> I would like to. You. <laughs> I don't know the origin yes. of that. Okay. Sorry. I but prefer to be honest. It's not because the word has different meanings. Just I, guess, I guess so. Okay, but let me check. I'm going to check a dictionary online here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
but being a hundred percent honest with you, I don't know. Coaster. Okay, meanings of coaster. Posavasos, deslizador, deslizadora, dejado, dejada, vago, vaga, barco costero. Okay. Freno mm, de pedal, montaña rusa, roller coaster. Probably. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, well, some sort of arbitrary name that they gave them, but I, I really don't know if, if 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 there's a meaning to it. I really don't know what it is. I'm I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> well, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Janet Yanira. Um, uh, for the for the meaning of coasters, um, sometime uh, or. In, in one occasion, I read mm -hmm. in one of them uh, this, this word, coaster, mm -hmm. like a brand. Is it a brand? Uh, like, yeah. Like, or, like, or, or, like pilot. Okay. The people, yeah. you know, they have markers and they say, you quiero un pilot, they say, for example. But yeah, pilot yeah, yeah. is actually a brand. Okay. Yeah. Like a brand or like a model of, of one of, of, the, of these microbuses. Okay, let's see. Why are coaster buses called coaster? Let's see. Okay, according to this. Uh, okay, I, I just found some information on the web. Okay, but I cannot show it to you because of copyright issues. So the name coaster holds the meaning of vehicle carrying the passenger safely and comfortably. The origin of the name comes from coastal trade vessel and cruise ship. This model is also offered to Nissan as an OEM product like I don't know. Sounds kind of technical. Um, let's see in here. Maybe this website will tell me. Sure. Coaster is derived from the English word coaster, which means like marine trading ship cruise ship coaster also means a bus a light bus that brings people safely and comfortably to their destinations okay but that doesn't really tell me what the origin is it's kind of obscure sorry i can't find it i'll probably have to investigate further <laughs> don't worry to okay. thank you very much all right don't worry okay um Group work, let's take a look at this. Now you use your imagination to suggest uses. Well, I don't know if we can do this, it's kind of late, but uh, for these everyday items, decide on the best use for each and share it with the class. I don't know. If you have any ideas on some alternative uses for these items right here, it, this is a good opportunity for you to tell me. For example, all newspapers. What do people use all newspapers for? Well, some people use them to, uh, to, to make fruit ripe, okay? You know, they say that, okay? That if you put the, 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 the fruit when it's green and you wrap it in, you know, a uh, newspaper, in all newspapers, apparently, okay? They 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 get ripe sooner that they wouldn't. My they mother weren't. used to do it. Used to do this with papayas and uh, avocados. Does it work? I don't know. She <laughs> says that. She says that it works. Okay, she I've, says it works. I've never tried. Okay, okay. Janet, Janira, and then Maritza Isabel. Um, I know that all newspapers you can to use uh for making piñatas. Oh yes, yes, for making piñatas. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's true, Maritza. Hello, teacher. Hello. In, I think about the um, uh, for the, uh, for the saints, mm -hmm. um, involve the, the fruit, uh, for example, hocotes, okay. uh -huh. and nisperos. Okay. Oh. Uh, nisperos. Okay. I don't know how to say that in English. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever eaten one to begin with. Okay, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically it's, it's, it's to wrap a fruit, okay? And then apparently it helps with the ripening process. Okay, uh, Jenny Elizabeth and then Jose. 
Okay, teacher, I use the old newspaper for clean the windows. <laughs> for cleaning windows, okay, all right. Okay, sounds good. I heard that some people also use them to iron clothes, okay, because you know that sometimes when you iron clothes, uh, it, it looks kind of weird, like, like, like a little bit bright when you finish. So some people put, you know, uh, the old newspapers on top of it and then they iron the clothes using that. And apparently that prevents uh okay. that 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 change in the clothes when you iron them. or the okay. or the clean the mirror too to clean the mirrors okay yeah uh -huh. <laughs> just as mentioned Jose Ravin any other use <laughs> I have used it used mm -hmm. it to make fire to light fires for example uh, no for example when I want to turn on the coal the encender fuego teacher uh -huh, yeah. For uh, uh -huh, for a for uh, I, I don't know how to say a fire. For that. A fire. Or yeah. You can also say a bonfire. So yeah, when you want oh. to start like a fire, a bonfire, you have you have used it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Like you go camping often. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Sounds good. Noemi, Alicia. Other use is to make rockets. Rockets. Rockets, Ah, you mean firecrackers. Firecrackers. Ah, uh, yeah, because a rocket is un cohete de los que vuelan, right? Okay, that's a that's a that's a rocket. <laughs> okay, no, this is <laughs> no. Don't worry, it's okay. You say firecrackers. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. Firecrackers. Okay, son los cohetillos. Okay, so oh, no, Christmas. Fire. Mm -hmm. Crackers. Firecrackers. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Another use for it is, is for example, when, when there is a leak in your house, it's raining, for example, there is a leak, there's water dripping from the ceiling. You can, you know, use them to absorb the water from the floor. Okay, they're very useful, actually. But I don't buy newspapers, so whenever I need them for, for this, I, I never have anything ready. Okay, so uh, what about the next one? A shower curtain. What alternative use can you give a shower curtain? I can't think of any, to be honest with you. Can you? Have you ever used a shower curtain for a different purpose than, you know, preventing water from getting everywhere in the bathroom? I have never. Okay, so uh, your silence tells me that probably you haven't either. Clothespins. Okay, what are what are clothespins? You know those things that you use to uh, pin the clothes to your hangers. Okay, or also you know to the cables on the on the backyard. Well, they get the sun. Okay, they're usually made of wood. In in the Salvador, we call them los chuchitos. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you have any alternative uses for clothespins? Jose Raibin? Jose Raibin knows a lot of life hacks, you can see here. No, here I have used them, the clothes pins, to, to hang uh, papers with messages for myself to remind something. Okay, okay. To remember so, things. Okay, for self notes. I don't notes. know how to say it. Ah, self notes, and, you can say. Uh, that thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have self notes. Or you can say note to self. Okay, when yeah, when you want to remember something, I mean you you want the piece of paper with the information to remind you about something. Okay. All right. Interesting. That's cool. Um uh, Maritza. I see that in the use in in the baby shower. Baby for... showers. Uh -huh. Yes, for the for the place, um, or for the competitions. In... Ah, they use them in in the games, baby shower games. Yes, yes, I have it. Okay, games. okay, baby shower games. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, baby shower games usually include like draw something and solve this crossword, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, but so apparently you can. You can give uh, 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 the, the, uh, uh, um, sometimes uh, the, 
uh, all assistant mm -hmm. or, mm, always are women mm -hmm. only women mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, the bring... attendance the attendance yes and um, uh -huh. But uh, not anymore, you know, those things are changing because at work, uh, they have this, um, it's not a tradition, but traditions are changing now. If you're going to be a father, they also give you a baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little strange, you're gay, but yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's usually for women, okay? And, and yes. usually just women attend, but, but nowadays things are changing, right? I have attended several uh, baby showers at work and, and, and there was a guy who became a father recently and they gave the guy also, you know, a baby shower. It's a bit weird. Is is it really uh enjoy? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's a good opportunity to, you know, share with, with, with other people. Yes. And play games and maybe eat something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh Noemi, and then Janet. Other use is the keep clothes, the cereal boxes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, to, to, to close cereal boxes and the bags also. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Janet, Janira. And also in some places, they sell decorations with clothes, clothes pins. Clothes pins, to, yes. Yeah, to place... Uh, or to put in it uh, photographs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. They pin the photographs using the clothespins. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, great, great. Thank you very much. What about empty shoe boxes? Oh, these have many uses. Okay. What do you do with empty shoe boxes? I mean, shoe boxes that are clean, of course. <laughs> uh, some people, for example, some people uh, put documents inside, which I don't recommend because there are some animals that like to eat, like some some insects that like to eat paper. So if, if you have documents, I will say probably get yourself a plastic container, okay, and then put your documents inside. I think they're a lot safer that way. Uh, Jose, I think. See, Jose has a trick for every everything around the house. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> I have used them to, to keep a, a lot of things, for example, in old toys, old toys, action action figures, or mm -hmm. uh, action fi action figures that I used to that I used to to play with when I was a child, but I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to throw away, uh, throw away, uh -huh. because they have a, a, a well, I have feelings feelings with them. They have a sentimental uh, value. Yeah, mm. and I keep them in shoe boxes. What what kind of uh, action figures do you have? Ninja Turtles or something? No, Dragon Ball figures. Dragon Ball, okay, Dragon Ball figures. <laughs> and Pokemon figures. Pokemon, also. okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's cool. All right, nice. Okay, well, um, what about dental floss? You know, dental floss is that like kind of thread that you use to clean your teeth with. Not your teeth, but the spaces in between your teeth. Okay. Is there an alternative use to dental floss? Probably not. I've never heard of it. Okay. What about safety pins? You know, safety pins are the ones that you put on, on, on baby's diapers. Okay, that's a safety pin. You have to be careful not to prick your finger with it. Do you understand the safety pin? Any ideas? No, 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 no alternative uses to safety pins. How about empty jars or cans? Okay, now, how about this one? Empty jars or cans? It's like when you buy, uh, for example, peanut butter, okay, in the supermarket, and they usually come in a, in a jar. When you finish it, you can use the jar for something else. For example, my wife uses the jars to put, you know, small things inside, like, for example, pens or some other small ornaments that she's going to be using because she likes to do crafts. So um, 
she uses them for 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 those purposes. But what what about you? Do do you use empty jars or cans for anything? Uh, yeah, they can be used for for growing plants too, like okay. later plants mm -hmm. or cactus. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. Uh, they're they're also useful for kids when they have to do the science project of you know growing a bean, okay, because they're yeah. transparent and they can see everything. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds nice. Okay, great, great, and the last one, rubber bands. Well, about rubber bands, I mean, I guess the idea of having rubber bands is that you can use them for whatever it is that, I mean. Uh, you can use your imagination right there. I mean, th there isn't like a specific use for rubber bands. What do you use rubber bands for? You know the meaning? Los hules, las tiras de hule, right? Rubber bands. Some people use them to hold money. <laughs> I never have enough money to use it like that. So uh, uh, do, do you give rubber bands any special use or any particular use? No? Okay then, Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Uh, uh, for for save money or or. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not a money. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. For <laughs> when I go, I went to the bank. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sounds like a or, good idea. Or maybe in the office for for collect the pens or. or pencils. Yes. Okay, it's a good idea. All right. Sounds great. Yes. Uh, thank you. About Noemi, how about you? What do you use rubber bands for? To keep my hair to together. Keep your hair together. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I guess it works. It works. Um, all right. Great. Everybody, thank you. Um, you know what they have here? There's an example. You can put all newspapers in the bottom of a bird cage so it's easier to clean. How let Perico, right? Okay, you put him at the bottom. <laughs> okay, I never had parrots. Okay, uh, lesson objective 4.6. In this class, participants will learn and practice using expressions related to problem solving. Okay, take a look. Now, what are you going to do here? Exploring possibilities. Combine the verbs with the nouns to make common expressions. The verbs are analyze, explore, find, make, organize, and solve. The nouns are a mistake, a situation, alternatives, information, a problem, a solution, and possibilities. Sometimes you can make more than one possible combination. For example, a mistake. Uh, I mean, you can use more than one verb for the noun. Let's have an example. And you, you have them here in the categories, right? You can say, for example, you have a mistake. You can analyze a mistake because it's possible. Okay. You, you make a mistake. Okay. Make a mistake and then you analyze it. So uh, in this case, a mistake can collocate with two different verbs. So that's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you four minutes. Okay. For you to basically classify the nouns in the different categories. And remember that sometimes you can use them in more than one category. Okay. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So I'll give you four minutes for you to do this. And in four minutes, we're going to check answers. Okay, let's begin.
Time's up. Okay. So um, the next one will be, let me check, a problem. Okay, so what can you do with the problem? Do I have volunteers? Janet, Janina. Um, with a problem, you can analyze. Yes. Um, solve. Yes. Okay. Or find. Or you find, can yeah. Analyze the problem. You can find the problem. You can solve the problem. Okay, that yeah. is good. Thank you, Janet. Very good. What about a, a situation? What about a situation? What can you do with it? Jenny Elizabeth. I think I analyze. You can analyze the situation. Mm -hmm. or find. find the situation. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Mostly analyze the situation, right? Mm -hmm. Find the situation is possible, but yeah, uh, you analyze the situation. Thank you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alejandro, what about a solution? About a solution? Um, could be find a solution. Find a solution. Yeah. Nice, nice cumbia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry. These, these, however, these people don't understand anything okay. about that. Okay. okay. <laughs> however, I will. I will have to. Uh, there's only one thing about that, and and, and let me explain. Um, if um, you know that 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 there is like an algorithm that that censors everything that is that is that is copyright, and that includes music. So uh, I will ask if 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 there's music playing in the background. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can participate, but I will ask you to do it via chat. Okay, because because of a 10 seconds of music, okay? They can, you know, uh, prohibit this video, okay? They can censor it. So, okay, I hope it doesn't happen, but yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, you can find a solution. That is right. What about the next one? Alternatives, what about alternatives? What can you do with alternatives? Rufino um, Milkar. Explore, explore. Alternative? Explore alternatives. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, you can explore alternatives or find alternatives too. Find okay, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rafina. What about possibilities? What about possibilities? What can you say about possibilities? Maritza Isabel. Explore. You explore possibilities. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, you explore the possibilities. Great. And the last one, information. What do you do with information? Jenny Elizabeth. Organize. You organize information. That is correct. You can also analyze information and you can find information. Okay. Yeah. But mostly organize. That is good. Okay, great. So uh, you have the collocations here. You can analyze a mistake, analyze a problem, analyze a situation, analyze information. You can explore alternatives, explore possibilities. You can find the problem, find the solution, find alternatives, find information. You can make a mistake. You can organize information. You can solve a problem. These are collocations, okay? Verb, noun, collocations. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next part. And uh, there's a little bit of speaking here. Okay, so let's do this. Discuss the questions, then ask your partner more questions using the new vocabulary. Because of the time, we're just going to discuss the first three questions. So when you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Or do you make your decisions quickly without exploring possibilities? What can you say? Okay, uh, I need a volunteer to participate here. I am the kind of person, for example, that, that likes to explore all possibilities before I make a decision. The frustrating thing is when you make the decision and then you realize there were more possibilities than you thought of originally. So that, that can be bad. But what about you? Okay, 
what kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person who explores all the possibilities before making a decision? Or do you just go with your gut? Gabriela Sequeira. I think that it depends on the situation. Sometimes you mm. have to take, uh, make a decision um, without think, uh, thinking it a lot. For example? So, um, to give an answer uh, when you're, um, you're in an interview. Okay. Word. Mm -hmm. Auto you don't have Some... much time to think uh -huh, when you're in an interview. Yes, and okay. but I rather to think think before to make to make that decision. So you rather explore all the possibilities first. Right. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Thank you, Gabriela. Um. Okay. Great. Number two. Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? So when you have an important problem, who is your go-to person? Could be one of your parents, for example, or a brother, a sister, your best friend. I don't know. When you have a problem, who do you talk to? In this case, when you need to find a solution to that problem. If you want to participate, please raise your hand. I guess it all depends on the kind of problem to begin with, but but in your case, who do you usually talk to? Ms. Romero. Exactly. <laughs> depends on the kind of problem, but I would usually um, try to find a solution with my brother. With your brother? Okay. Yeah, I trust him. Okay. So like, is, uh, is your brother older than you? He's younger than me, but um, to this moment, he's like made more things in life than me. <laughs> he has more he experience. He got into the National University. He got his own um car. Uh, he keep doing his own money. And still, um, even though he's still studying at mm -hmm. university, so um, mm -hmm. I admire him because mm -hmm. of, of what he does and how he takes decisions. So I consult pretty often to him when I want to do something. And yeah, it's like, um, I can make a mistake and I'm not afraid of telling him. And um, instead of my, um, in exchange, when I'm talking with my parents, I feel like I cannot tell to them everything, you know? <laughs> yeah so I, yeah the kind of okay so your brother is not judgmental uh-huh and not that much <laughs> not that much just a little bit okay. yeah just the necessary <laughs> okay. okay i get it all right thank you all right so uh miss romero talks to her brother okay when she has a, a problem she needs to find a solution to Okay, great. Thank you very much. What about number three? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Now, before you participate, this can be, I mean, this is kind of a personal question. Okay, so if you're going to tell us about a problem that you had and a mistake that you made, okay, just make sure that it's not something that is very personal. Because sometimes we make mistakes that are very personal. Okay, so if it's too personal, please don't tell us. But if it's something that you can share with the group, please. Um, who wants to participate? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake that you made? What did you learn from it? What life lesson did you learn from it? Remember, if it's too personal, please don't tell us. Okay. Um, Anybody? Does anybody want to participate? No volunteers this time? No, all your, okay, mistakes are too personal probably. Okay then, if that's the case, we're moving on. Um, I don't know if Janet, Janita wanted to participate or if your hand is just up. Um, my hand was up, but okay, mm, okay. I have one, one uh, Okay. Example. Okay, great. Uh, a few days. Um, I have had a a, a 
a mistake with an uh -huh. over overprinted. I don't know if if it, this is the the word. Uh, with I have word? had I, I I printed one uh -huh. document. Uh -huh. And when I need I need to to print another thing in the same page. Uh, I I printed some some something more under the the document that I have had printed um mm -hmm. one day one one day later um one, one day, day before. before yeah uh-huh so so you printed on the same paper yeah oh okay and when I when I see that when I saw that, um, my first uh, option was to erase it, but um, the person who was uh, signed it said it, it's a mistake because um, it was signed and it was signed. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the uh, she said she saw me that uh, I can't to 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 raise it, mm -hmm. and I have had to print it again. <clears throat> to to I'm sorry. yeah, <laughs> I I erased it and I have had to to print it again. Oh well, so. You mean that you canceled it? You canceled it, and then you had to print it again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. That sounds like a like a waste of ink. Well, yes. oh, sorry about that. I hope you you didn't get in trouble for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Uh, thanks for participating. Okay. We don't have much time. We only have about ten minutes. So um, let's move on. 4.8, that's lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn how to use non-defined and relative clauses as sentence modifiers. Okay, nothing really complicated about this. Um, but we'll see now. Okay, non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defined and relative clauses. Wait, wait a second, why are the answers there? The answers are not supposed to be there. It is. Like, I think something went wrong with the animation of them. Just give me a moment. I'll solve this. Ah, oh, yes, I know. I apologize. Here, very quickly. Now I will use this option to copy animation. Do this quickly. Just a moment. Okay, done. All right, now take a look. You can use non-defined and relative clauses with which to make comments about an entire sentence. Okay, you have, for example, this. I'm going to zoom in. I have three cats, comma, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur in my clothes. Now, what is this relative clause about? You're basically commenting on the whole sentence that you said before. And what is the whole sentence? I have three cats. Now, this is a non-defining relative clause, which means that if you take it out of the sentence, the sentence still makes sense. If you don't say it, you just have, I have three cats. Okay, full sentence right there. People will understand that you have three cats, no problem. But if you want to comment on the whole sentence, on the whole idea that you mentioned, then you can use which. I have three cats, comma, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. Okay? The second one. My roommate is a slob, okay? Which is why I want to get my own apartment, okay? So then again, 
you have this. My roommate is a Slav, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Now, what's a Slav? A Slav is a person who is very, uh, a person who is not organized, who is not clean, okay? And a person who is not usually very responsible, okay? So imagine that you have to share your room with someone who is not responsible, not clean, and not organized. That person is a Slav, okay? So you have that. My roommate is a Slav. If you have that, you have a complete sentence. You have a complete idea. So you can add a non-defining relative clause. Uh, to add extra information to that. But if you begin with which, okay, basically what you're doing is you are commenting on the whole situation that you just mentioned. So you say, my roommate is a slob, comma, which is why I want to get my own apartment, okay? Normally, if you translate this into Spanish, which becomes uh, lo cual, okay? I have three, three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur in my clothes. Tengo tres gatos. Lo cual significa, ¿verdad? Que hay mucho pelo de gato en mi ropa. Okay, so that's that's how you use which in this case. So what are we going to do here? We have exercise. Uh, this exercise here, match these statements with the appropriate non-defining clauses, then compare with a partner and write two similar statements on your own. Janet, Janita. Um. I think I can to, to do the number two. Okay, great. Okay, I thought you had a question. Okay, so uh, the first one is an example. I want to give away all my old books, letter H, which means I have to get boxes for them. Okay. Janet, Janita, number two, please. I have left my keys in my car, which is why you saw me opening it with a cut hanger. Okay, yeah, which is why you saw me open it, it, opening it with a coat hanger. Yeah, that's right. There you go. I had locked the keys in my car, comma, which is why you saw me opening it with a coat hanger. Okay, great. Thank you, Janet, Janita. How about number three? I'm going to repaint my room next week. How about this one? If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Ana Filomena. I'm going to repaint my room next week. It's a um, letter D, which means why I have been saving all newspaper. Yes, which is why I have been saving all newspaper. Uh, yeah, this is another use for newspapers, right? When you're going to paint your room or you just put the newspapers on the floor. That way the paint doesn't get to the floor, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot. It, That's also, a very good. Uh -huh. Also, you can use the newspaper for to protect things. To protect things, yeah. Okay, especially when you're transporting those things, you yeah. wrap them in newspaper and then... Like, uh, like a glass. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Although I, I prefer I prefer to use um, uh, wrapping plastic. You can find it at, at you know, hardware stores. It's yeah. extremely useful. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I have, I I have moved twice this year. I have changed houses. I have moved twice this year, and uh, I I cannot stress uh, how incredibly useful it is to have you know wrapping uh, plastic. Okay, when you're transporting things, it's incredible. Okay, super good. Anyway, number four. Thank you, Anna Filomena. Uh, number four. Jenny Elizabeth, and then, I'm sorry, or Janet, Janita, I don't know if you, Janet, Janita, I believe, and then Jenny Elizabeth, Janet? Sorry. No, 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 no. your hand was up, okay, okay, don't worry, okay, okay. Jenny Elizabeth. My, My son uh, made, made a robot costume, costume for himself, a letter F, which is why he was covered in aluminum for oil yesterday. Yeah, my son made a robot costume for himself, which is why he was covered in aluminum foil yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know aluminum foil? Papel aluminio, right? So that's that's aluminum foil. Uh, Noemi Alicia, number five, please. Number five. Our neighbor saved here and 
empty years for my my dad which I greet since the use the, the store nails and things in this vocation. In his workroom. In his okay. workroom. Yeah. Our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad, which is great since he uses them to store nails and things in his workroom. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Noemi Alicia. Miss Romero, number six, please. My new cell phone can store and play music. Um, letter C, which is great because I can listen to it while I am on the subway. Yeah, my new cell phone can store and play music, which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. Thank you very much. What about number seven? Number seven, who wants to participate? Nobody? <laughs> Can't believe this. Janet Janira. It's easy to get a uh, when driving in a new city, uh, which is why personal navigation system were developed for cars. Yes, it's easy to get lost when driving in a new city, which is why personal navigation systems were developed for cars. Great. Thank you, Janet. Janita, very good. And the last one, number eight, Adam. <laughs> How about this one? Who knows the answer? I mean, there's only one possible answer now, but yeah. Well, I'm going to read it then. Okay, Debbie. Okay. Okay, Debbie, go for it. Okay. Uh, Adam still listens to music on an old-fashioned record player, which is strange since cassettes and CDs have been around for so long now. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so Adam still listens to music on an old-fashioned record player. You know, the record player that plays the vinyl discs, okay? The big black discs, uh, which is strange since cassettes and cds have been around for so long now okay everybody i'm just going to uh go over the attendance list one more time and then i guess we can call it a day uh byron rafael avelar aquino no apparently he's not here let's go with gabriela Loure sequeira bernal she's here Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Maritza, sorry, no, no. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Hmm. Hi, teacher is here. Hello, hello. Uh, Iris, hello. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez Quijano. All right. Okay, everybody. Um, just uh, the instruction. Remember, Tomorrow we have final class. Okay, so don't miss it. Please don't miss it. And also we're going to uh, solve the final exam together. Okay, so it's an important class. Don't miss the class. Um, again, thank you very much for your attention, for your participation. You have participated a lot today. You have done a lot of speaking, which is great. Um, and, and, and that's uh, something that I really, really like. Um, thank you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. And are you giving us something? Um, have a wonderful night. Finish in the call. Bye. Giving you something? What do you mean? Uh, forget it. <laughs> okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. 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 -bye.